Sean Fleming. Uh, my hometown is Agora Hills, California, and I am I'm a musician. My first instrument I ever touched was a drum set of my dad's. Um, I pretty much made noise, but he also had guitars in the house. And around high school, I, I started picking up the guitar. He'd teach me some chords. And at the end of the day, I wanted to get girls. And that's why I learned how to play the guitar. In high school, I had a music teacher named John Mosley. And he was a huge influence on both me spiritually and in my career choice. And it's definitely because of him that I decided to pursue a career in music. I grew up with Sam Prince and Jonathan Leto of Foxygen, and I'd always heard about Foxygen in high school, like these crazy kids who were making these just bizarre, crazy albums. Uh, and then I got the pleasure of meeting them. We started playing in each other's projects. And then a few years after high school, Rado called me out of the blue, and he said, you know, we've got a show, we're playing, and we don't have a drummer, so do you want to be our drummer for the night? And then that was like, one show became two, two became like a small little tour, and eventually I had been on the road with them for like a year. I'd moved from California up to New York, and I was living with Rado at the time. And then Rado was going back to LA for something. Okay, well, now I've got some downtime, alone time, I'm just, I'm gonna record. And I didn't have much there because he took a lot of his stuff, so I had like some broken drums, one of his old guitars, and then my laptop. So I was just recording and, and kind of doing whatever I could to make it work, like drums out of pots and pans, and the, the, all the bass is just like a really detuned guitar. And my friend Fish is definitely a, a DIY kind of situation. Like I said before, uh, the My Friend Fish, I wasn't even planning on doing a record. So with this record, I, I felt like I was going into it like it was my first record. And I've always wanted to do a very big sounding, very animated production. I just really wanted it to sound, you know, again, different from the first record. Something a lot cleaner, something a lot fuller, bigger. That's really important for me though, is to continue to do things that are different.